got a whole story for y'all tonight. I don't understand how this woman keeps like trying to make me seem like I didn't try to help her pay her bills prior. I didn't try to help her find a situation. I didn't try to help her plan for this baby. So this is what happened. Like I told y'all, she's been planning to do bad disease. I'm thinking bad disease will happen after the baby's born. She was like, no, they ready to gear up. I'm going to do it while I'm pregnant. I said, oh, man, yeah? you serious? You want to go on a WWE fight show while you're pregnant? So I try to, you no, know, chop it up with her. Hey, instead of doing that, how about me and you plan a baby shower? We find a spot. We plan for the baby's birth. You know what she say? I need to get on the road and get to this money and that baby shower and all that. So she's like, I don't need to do none of that. I'm about to go get it. I said, damn. All right, big dog. Fuck it. So she goes on bad disease. You know, I'm paying close attention. I'm watching. She's getting treated like a contestant on the show. And it's really making me mad because I'm like, your baby father is blue face. You're Krishan Rock. Why are you on the show with like a bunch of, no offense to anybody, but like with a bunch of just, you know, regular people that's trying to brighten their horizon. But whatever, she goes on there. It's not what she thinks. Nobody fights for her like she thought. Nobody does what she says on command. So then she hits my phone. Oh, I'm ready to come home. Pastor Mike told me I should come back and I should try it out with you because he's seen all these tattoos. The bitch said, she said her pastor told her to come back and do the right thing with me. And the bitch still didn't listen. She got the word straight from God to the pastor to her. Yo, you should kind of go back and really try harder with Blue, with Blue because you got all these tattoos of him. So it must have been something that led you up to this point. You should see that through. All right, that's what she's telling me. She's telling me, oh, I went to church after she beat the white girl or had her friends beat the white girl. She told me, oh, I went to church and the pastor told me I should come back to you. I said, damn, that's what the pastor said. All right, shit, shout out the pastor. He knows something, right? He knows something. Boom. So that's when she leaves Baddie's East. She comes back. I got a whole family in my house. I told her, look, I will be homeless with you until we find a spot. So I leave my house and I stay in the hotel with her. I'm in the hotel with her, right? So boom. This is when I got stabbed. So I leave her in the hotel room. Hey, I'm finna go to the gym and work out. You stay here and chill. It was an early morning workout. She tired. I'm like, just chill. Go to the gym. Get a workout in. Boom, I get stabbed. Hit her. Yo, I just got stabbed. We had appointments to see places, penthouses. I wanted her to get a penthouse. Boom. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go. Instead of going to get stitched up, going to do anything, I go back to the hotel to make sure we make these appointments to see these penthouses, right? I got a whole gash in my leg. I'm walking, stum stumbling around, looking at these penthouses for her and the baby to have some, you know, something. Then I got to go to Atlanta to do the Smasher Pass. They got some bread for me. They got some bread for me. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let's go. Take the bitch with me. We get there, it's time for me to go handle this business. I'm telling her, like, yo, I don't want to bring no pregnant girl to this to this social thing, you know, it's going to affect, you know, my program. She instantly make it about her. Oh, I'm not cool enough to come with you. I came with you out here. You need, I need to go with you. What do we win? We argue. Hey, you know me. I'm out of here. I'm, I just told you what I'm going to do. I'm out of here. Guess what she do? Tit for tat. She leave the room. She at Clark Atlanta University. She over here. She pull up. I'm like, where the food at? I'm hangry at this point. She said, oh, I threw it out. It was nasty. Huh? So I don't get to try the food? Like, you just gonna... I've been sitting at this restaurant all night waiting for you, thinking you got some food for me. And you get here and you tell me you threw the food away because it was nasty. 
So I'm instantly heated. Like, that's so selfish. Boom. We get back to the room. I need to smoke. Where do we? Where the backwoods? Oh, I smoked all the backwoods. I don't know where. To do. We don't have. You don't got no food. You don't got no backwoods. You're. Oh, my God. I'm mad. I'm bleeding a bit. Go get me some backwoods right now. The bitch leave the room. Act like she finna go get me some backwoods. And never comes back. I'm texting her worry like, damn, you okay? Is everything all right? She missed the f Mind you, we got an appointment to see a house at 12 p.m. The flight is at 5 a.m. She didn't like none of the penthouses, so I upped it. I said, all right, you don't want to be in a penthouse because you feel like it's giving apartment vibes. All right, fuck it. Let's go get a rent a house out. She missed the flight. I get on the flight at 5 a.m. by myself. Haven't heard from her. Then the next day, she had a little baby restaurant leaving taste test reviews. I'm like, this is what you're doing? Like, you just missed? Okay, fuck it. From that day forward, I texted my financial advisor, my real estate agent, Jason Lee and his party promoter. I said, cancel the house, cancel the baby shower. I'm done with her. Her priorities. So this nigga Blueface, he breaking down everything that happened between him and Krishan, what led up to this point. Man, it ain't no excuse for what that nigga just did last night. That nigga posted a new picture of his weeks old son. Like, I don't care what he say to try to explain anything. And then he was talking about they was going to see a penthouse at midnight and going to catch a flight at 5 a.m. Who the hell go house shopping at midnight? Like, come on now, make it make sense. And then he told me something, they was going to find a house. He was going to have paid. They was supposed to do a baby shower, but she wanted to go get this money, this and that. I mean, by the way that she was saying it, he left her broke. So she had to go get this money for the baby. But at the same time, she do need to sit her ass down. But Blueface, bro, he a clown, bro. He just need to focus on him and Jaden. Why do he seem like he always got to go live and explain himself, bro? Like, for what? If you're not pressed, if you're so in love with Jaden and happy about your family, Jaden do everything you want and say, why are you so focused on Chris Sean? Like, let her do her own thing. Like, whether she make mistakes or whatever. You don't want her. He was on Twitter going in on her, telling her to get off the D, this and that, go find somebody else to worry about. Go be with little baby, this and that. And then this morning, Krishan, she was on live. She was going crazy crying about how he posted a picture and this and that. Man, this whole shit is a whole roller coaster, bro. After all this shit, two weeks from now or less, both of them going to be laid up smiling. That's why people think all this shit is a game. Because y'all will go through all this traumatic shit that any two normal people... Man, the police would have been called. They would have been broke up. They would have stopped talking. But these two, you know what I'm saying? They keep on fighting, busted face, glass in the back of the head, bloody nose, black eyes, exposing shit, recording everything, and they be back next week like it's all normal. Shit is wild, man. What y'all think about this? But we close.